Hey guys, this is Nefarious Intent, and today I'm going to show you the best way how to code a Minecraft hack client. The truth. We're going to start by downloading Mod Coder Pack for 1.8. This has actually been discontinued on the current Mod Coder Pack website, so I've created a custom resource for you guys to go get it. All you have to do is open up your browser, type intent.store slash getmcp. It will then automatically download the version of Mod Coder Pack, and it'll provide you with a link to the Optifine sources we'll need further in the video. Now that we have Mod Coder Pack, we can open the Optifine sources, and that will provide us with the code that we can integrate into the current version of MCP we already have with vanilla, we can turn it into an Optifine build very easily. So we're going to click on the only Optifine 1.8 installation you see here, and we're gonna hit download. It'll take us through a Cloudflare redirect, and then we'll be good. Now that I have the files downloaded, I can extract them like so. First, I open up the MCP version. I extract it to the current folder. Okay, create another one, so we'll put it in that. And then I'm gonna take this Optifine code and I'm gonna use that in a second. But first we have to decompile. So if you're on Windows, just run the batch file. And if you're on another operating system like Mac, you would run the shell file the way you run shell files. I'm not gonna go through it in this video, but uh, just open up the decompile.bat. And I believe for me it will work, but for you guys it might not. And that's some of the errors I've been seeing lately. So what you're gonna want to do is go find the legacy Minecraft launcher and run the version Minecraft 1.8 with it, and then come back to this. What we're going to do is go out back to our Optifine folder, and we're gonna take all this code right here, and we're just gonna control C it actually. So control C on your keyboard, go to here, here, and here, and delete all this. And it'll take a second because my computer's screwed up. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to just paste that right in, and it'll also take a second because we're transferring a lot of, okay, never mind, it won't take a second. There we go, boom, done. So now we have a working Eclipse ready project that we can start working with. So you're going to open your Eclipse, I have Neon. So next you're going to find the current location of the Eclipse folder you see right here, I'm hovering over. You're gonna go into that, and then you're gonna copy the URL or the URI on um, the file path, and then you're gonna paste it into your Eclipse workspace entry and hit okay. All right, now you may be alarmed when Eclipse opens because you see these exclamation points. It's not actually a big deal. You just wanna delete the server folder. And then there's still one for the client. So you're gonna to go to the build path, configure build path. And it's because there's some missing libraries that for some reason MCP just can't figure out where they are. <laughs> I really don't know what the issue is to this day, but you just gotta do it. So we're going to find the location of what we're looking for. So I know personally that it's in my tutorial client folder, jars, libraries, com, mojang, authlib. And there we go. And then realms is basically the same thing. Um, you can just use the path that's already there and then go to realms. All right, now we have no build errors no build path errors because there's no missing libraries, but I believe there are still some errors when it compiles, so we're gonna solve those momentarily. Okay, there are no compilation errors, which means we can just run the debug. So the debug means that you can edit code live and the run just runs it like a normal application. But for this tutorial, we're gonna be running debug because in my opinion, there's no reason not to and you can do hot code replace. So here we go, I'm running it and it should work as you can see we have minecraft right here in eclipse running just fine this concludes part one of the 1.8 hacked client coding tutorial i'll see you in the next video